New adjustments on voter registration schedules are being considered to encourage more people to participate. Let's get the details from Romel Lopez. He joins us live from the city of Manila. Hi, Romel. How is voter registration or how is the turnout so far? Yes, Sean, Kamalik says it's falling uh, short of its 4 million target new voter registrants ahead of the 2022 polls. According to some election officers, the low turnout may be primarily attributed to the ongoing health crisis. This is how, Sean, uh, the, one of the Kamalik officers here in the city of Manila looks like as the voter registration is ongoing. Uh, according to uh, uh, attorney, According to Attorney uh, Gregorio, uh, the election officer here in Manila, uh, they are only averaging 30 registrants per district a day. The figure is far from the capacity of the registration machines at up to 200 per day. Bonipacio explains that uh, many people would rather stay at home than register due to the threat of COVID-19. Another issue that he cited is the limited operating hours of Comelec offices due to the skeleton work workforce. Comelec has recently adjusted the operation uh, of its offices to Mondays to Thursdays only from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. As of January 4, only 1.1 million have registered out of 4 million expected turnout. With this, some Comelec officers are asking public or barangay officials to help in informing the public about the registration. The National Office of Comelec, meanwhile, is planning to adjust the schedule to encourage more people to register. Comelec spokesman James Jimenez says they are now looking at extending the registration hours or extending the registration days to encourage more people to re register. Sean Comelec is also utilizing social media to educate more people about the importance of their participation. The agency assures the public that a system is in place to ensure that all health protocols will be strictly observed. Sean? All right, Rommel, I know that before you go to register to the Comelec offices, wherever you may be, you have to download forms in advance. Is, still this, is, still, is this still the case, rather? And does this hold true um, nationwide? Yes, uh, that's, that's true, Sean. To, to, to limit the face-to-face -face interaction, uh, the Comelec uh, suggested and encourages the, 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 the uh, voters to first log in into their Comelec website and they can download their Comelec, uh, Comelec registration form there before they go here to their respected Comelec offices. They, are, they have also uh, 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 gave out some Comelec forms in those barangays so that uh, the participants or the registrants can just ask for the barangays officials for the copy of the registration form. This is to make sure that they will limit the face-to-face -face transaction between the registrants and, of course, their Comelec officers. Sean? All right, so for those without printers or computers or no means to download and print out the forms at home, they can approach their barangay officials. Just to clarify? Yes, that's true, uh, Sean, because uh, what, are, what the, this uh, uh, Comelec uh, officers are doing right now, they're encouraging and they're asking the help of uh, the barangay uh, officers uh, to, to disseminate the information that there is an ongoing uh, voters registration now and to help the voters and to encourage them to come here, they are handing out these uh, forms in some barangays, Sean. All right, hoping for a bigger turnout for voter registration. Thank you so much for that update. Ramel Lopez joining us live from the city of Manila.